succulents, ferns, lilies. Ask any proud plant parent about their leafy affairs, and they'll rave on with such passion that you'd think they were talking about actual children. As intense as it may seem, there are many budding plant enthusiasts who dedicate hours a day and hundreds of thousands of dollars to cultivating plant collections in their homes. But if houseplants are nothing new, why are younger generations suddenly embracing this hobby, leading them in a spiral of unadulterated obsession? My guest today is all dressed up with nowhere to grow. <laughs> That's the new paranormal for you. Please welcome Plant Daddy, Alex Mark. Alex, hello from the other side. Hi, Lonesome. Thank you for having me today. Now, what is a Plant Daddy? All right, so what a Plant Daddy basically is, is someone that has a passion or a love for plants. Um, they could either grow plants outdoor or indoors, but I think a plant daddy pertains more to someone that loves to plant indoors and likes to bring the jungle right into their home. Why do you collect plants? Where did it all start? Um, so why I collect plants is because I want to go to sleep and I want to wake up around a forest of green. Um, this feels like my safe space. I can't imagine my room ever without plants. I, I always need plants and I just feel safe in my little bubble that I created in my room. It all got started for me since I was like six, probably six, because my dad loved to garden outside and I would always follow him around and I would always try to do what he did and he always said I had a green thumb. And if a plant died, he would make me, like, rub my hands in the soil to, like, heal the plant. Yes, but yes, yes. That's the earliest it got started, but I'd say indoor planting, I got started, like, two years ago when my mom made the fatal mistake of buying me my first plant. And it took off from there, now she hates it, but she got me started, so. What do you call a cheerleading herb? An encouragement. <laughs> How does one decide what plants to start buying? How someone decides what kind of plants they should start buying is their light situation. I know it's confusing to say bright light, low light, medium light, because a lot of people kind of don't know what that means, but I kind of have a medium light, so you have to know your lighting situation, your humidity, um, all the factors at play, but I would say stick to the basics, like golden pothos, the ZZ plant. I know you guys might not know what that is, but they're pretty much the, on the easier side of the spectrum of plants to grow in the house, and it's basically indestructible. Why couldn't the gardener plant any flowers? He hadn't botany. Get it? Bo botany? Bot any? Okay, okay. How do you deal with bugs and other creepy crawlers? So how I deal with bugs is kind of learn my lesson. Um, it is Hawaii, so there was this one time where I had a really bad ant infestation and I unfortunately had to throw out since I'm allergic and I didn't want to touch them. <laughs> um, like 10 plants, which was a lot of money. I know plant enthusiasts would hate me for throwing away plants, but I had to. Um, so I learned my lesson. So what I do is when I do get plants now, I flip it upside down and I check the soil for everything. If I don't feel comfortable enough, I'll even wash off the soil and pot it into the soil mixture that I make myself. I don't trust store brand soils. Um, if I do have pest on the leaves that try to suck the life force out of my plants, I get... Um, insecticidal soap or natural neem oil, mix it with water, and I spray it down to kind of take care of that. What do you call a garden nursery? Plant parenthood. 
What is the best gift for a plant daddy? Um, the best gift to give to a plant daddy would, on the safer side, be a plant. But knowing a plant daddy, they probably have that plant. But the best gift I've ever had, my best friend got me a mug for my birthday that said plant daddy. And it had like little plants around it. And I loved it. It wasn't a plant. But I loved it. Because I could show people when I'm like drinking my water or something that I'm a plant daddy. And I, I honestly love that gift to like death. Now what are some of your favorite plants? Okay. Uh, yeah. The first one would be this baby right here. Yeah. Uh, the scientific name would be Epiprinum panatum. Epipr- Again, slower. Epiprimnum. Epiprimnum. Pinatum. Pinatum. Epiprimnum. Pinatum. Epiprimnum. Pinatum. Um, it's commonly called Cebu Blue, and it was originally found on the island of Cebu in the Philippines. Mm. All right. Um, the next plant would be common name would be the ZZ plant. Um, <laughs> Zamicolcus zamifolia. Zamicolcus zamifolia. 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 Zamicolcus zamifolia. Zamicolcus zamifolia. Um, this is a really basic house plant. It's basically indestructible. It would grow in pretty much low light. You don't need to fertilize it that much. Ah, I see. All right, so the next plant would be this baby. Right here. My baby. Um, so this one is called Raphidophora tetrasperma. Raphidophora. Raphidophora. Raph, Rafa. Raphidophora. Tetrasperma. Tetrasperma. Raphidophora tetrasperma. Raphidophora tetrasperma. Raphidophora tetrasperma. Did I get it? Did I get it? Hmm? It's, it's become really common. Um, it used to not be available in like stores in Hawaii, but recently they've just become a little more popular and more available. Why do plants go to therapy? To get to the root of their problems? <laughs> what advice do you have for other interested plant daddies and mommies? First, just do your research because you don't want to introduce a plant into your home, overwater it, underwater it, give it too much light, give it too little light, and it just dies on you because there are a lot of plants out there that will just die on you if you give it just the wrong conditions. Uh, where to get plants? I would say if you do live in an urban area where it's kind of harder to get plants in your stores, but I'd say plants are so read readily available. I would say go to literally any store, Walmart, Home Depot, and you'll find it there. If you really don't want to go outside and buy, you can buy plants online. That's what I do. It's a little more expensive, but the experience is amazing. Sometimes, sometimes you'll get dead plants in the mail, but that kind of happens. Uh, I'd say go on Etsy. Etsy is your best bet. I've used eBay before, but it just feels a little more sketchy. And Etsy is more trustworthy for online purchases because there's way more reviews. It's more personal. Um, they're smaller companies. They're smaller, like, one-man shows, you know? Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. But any plants that I would honestly recommend for you to start with would be some of the basic ones, like... Uh, Dumb cane. This one grows like a weed. Uh, pothos. This basically indestructible. It will tell you when it's thirsty. Show flop. <laughs> and a piece of leaf. These things are resilient. They will look dead if you don't give them enough water, but once you water them, they'll pop right back up. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Alex, for your insights. 
Thank you for having me, Lonesome. After today's discussion, I think we can all agree that this obsession with houseplants is, in fact, a healthy one. My friends, believe me when I say I don't want to do this, but I must ghost you for now. Until next time, goodbye.